Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Right. Now let us look at this particular limitation of airships. We are operating from an origin location O which is at a height H O to another destination which is D at a height of H D. Obviously uh, either the destination would be at the same altitude or at a lower altitude or at a high altitude. Now if we fly to uh, elevation, so let us say you take off from so you take off from uh, a place like Pune. At what elevation is Pune from the sea level? It is not equal to sea level, it is much higher. Okay. So or just to make it more dramatic, let us look at Lonavala. We know it is at some height from sea level. So you design the airship to fly from Lonavala. You have taken care of the balloon volume that when it goes from Lonavala to some maximum pressure altitude, the balloon will become flush. So now you, so what is the, what is the amount of air in the balloon at the ground level? Is maximum or minimum? They are full. At ground level, the balloon is completely full. As the airship goes to higher altitude, you take out the air. What will happen if you operate from an altitude? go to higher altitude and then you come to a much lower altitude. Do you see any problem? Why will it distort? No, on the other hand, on the other hand, the balloon will become full, but you still have to go down. There is no volume available in the balloon to take in the gas needed to go down. Okay. So you will have a problem, you will not be able to go down. So if an airship is designed to operate from Pune and to go only to some height, you bring it to Mumbai, it cannot land because when it wants to come below, so what will you do? You will lose gas. One way is okay, expel some gas. So it is important. If an airship flies from a location O that is origin to a location D that is destination such that the height of the origin is more than the height of the destination, then the inflation fraction at destination that is ID, it is going to be lower than the fraction at origin. The value of ID can be obtained by simply looking at the ratio of pressures and temperatures plus the superheat. This is a familiar formula to you. Only thing is I added S at the rate O for uh, ambient pressure at uh, origin etc. Cetera, et cetera. Okay. Now please note these are the barometric pressure heights at the origin and destination. T and A, T are the ambient temperatures and the superheat. Now you have a minimum inflation fraction already designed in the airship to take care of delta H or the altitude change. So for example, if I design the airship to take off from Pune to a height of 2 kilometers from Pune, I will work out how much is the balloon volume needed as a percentage of the total volume, 1 minus i, so it may be 25 percent. So if one fourth of the volume occupied is by balloon, three fourth by the LTA gas at the ground level, I will design the balloon for that size. So it will have a given inflation fraction. But the inflation fraction needed at destination is more. So therefore, what do you do if you want to operate with a much higher delta H? Delta H being the height change, which means if I want to go from the same thing from Pune to a high altitude and come down to Mumbai, delta H required is from Mumbai to that height. What do I do?
I have already given the answer to you in my initial discussion. The only option you have is to <coughs> change the lifting gas. You have to add lifting gas before the takeoff to take care of the height difference that you have to. So, let us look at this formula and go for some simplification. What simplification? Probably superheat will be ignored. Okay. Then under consider ISA conditions. So, under ISA conditions you have a fixed pressure at sea level case at least. So, you can say that I d by I o that is the inflation fraction at the destination upon the inflation fraction at the beginning is equal to P s at o because that additional uh, term delta T s h I have removed. So, P s and T s. Now, interestingly we have just now done this in the beginning of today's class. P s O by P s D is basically delta O by delta D where delta is the pressure ratio P by P naught okay. and T by T naught is theta that is the temperature variation. And we also know that P by P naught is equal to T by D naught to the power 5.253. So, this will become 4.253. So, therefore, uh, the inflation fraction I D by I O is simply the ratio of the sigma which is the density ratio. So, therefore, you look up the atmospheric chart find out the density at any altitude, find density at the altitude from which you are operating, calculate the sigma values and the ratio of that gives you the required inflation fraction. So, the change in the balloonet volume will be easily obtainable as the uh, from the inflation fraction directly. 